All right, what's going on, everybody? So I had somebody suggest to me that I should try throwing an MD. So I figured I'd buy one, do a disc review, right? So we got MD Horizon here. Little did I know, I'm not that smart, and I also don't know Dismania that well. I'm starting to get into it. I'm really liking their plastic. Uh, I have a fucking MD. It's a mind bender. Didn't know a mind bender was an MD. I just, you know, whenever players come out with signature discs, I'm like, oh, it's their signature disc. I don't even think about, like, it's a disc that's already been running. They just put a new stamp on it. So I already had one. Kind of know how it flies, but we're going to throw them both against each other. We're going to do nine holes here at Buckhorn, and we'll see which one wins. So we got MD1 Horizon and MD1 Simon Lozat Mindbender. Let's go. I kind of juiced that one. Let's take a little off of that. Same thing. They're glidey. They are glidey. All right, let's get a little fancy here. Let's see if I can get through the through the jungle gym. Oh, I wanted that so bad. I wanted that so bad. Other ones pin high or the same distance. Uh, let's see if we can get it. Come on, Bender. Wobbly. Hold two. All right, hole number two, just between the trees here. I'm going to have to learn to take a little bit off of these. They're very glidey. Uh, the last hole, I feel like I barely put anything on them and they just took off. So I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit of a, a little bit more touch. Oh, that looks so good. That's still far. It's like deep, deep. finish or not you put it on an angle and they just go I feel like you could do a lot of shape shopping with these or shot shaping with these discs I'm kind of liking them not playing very well. I'm not playing very well today guys. I'd be lucky if I finish this course in par. <laughs> Almost missed that one. This is supposed to be a birdieable course every hole and I'm barely getting pars. Alright, still tied up. Barely getting through. Uh, this is over 200 feet, so I actually can throw the disc here. Let's see what happens. Oh, that finished really good. I haven't been circle one probably. Now I feel like the sea line, the mind bender, is a little flippier, so I think I need to put some highs around this. so good oh we just parked it with the sea line fuck yeah these are both great shots if i would have put the uh, horizon on a little bit of hyzer i think we'd have been looking at the pin you know right under it Take a bird. It's about time we got one. So we're negative one, both this, two or three. Um, so I will say these are very similar to like my warship, I think. They don't feel similar, but I think they're supposed to be around the same flight patterns. They seem more stable and less unpredictable. Every once in a while, if I throw my warship a little too hard, that thing gets flippy. 
these seem to be a little more stable and I'm hoping that's the case because then there's definitely a spot in my bag for them. All right, we got another short shot. T sign doesn't tell me what it is. I think it's like 150, a little shorty. Uh, we're negative one through three and they're both flying pretty similar. I'm gonna say that. All right, we can live with that. I should probably be moving out of the way. I can't tell if I'm in your guys' way of the flight or not. Oh, that looks so good. So good, a little too much on it. I'm liking the horizon. I'm liking that horizon. Um, still, I still think it's ridiculous. I bought a disc that I already had and didn't even know it. All right, I'm a little further than my comfort zone right here. I have not been putting good with these line benders. I'll take that one. Let's go. feeling good now I came here straight from work and I just my arm wasn't warm I'm feeling better now we're gonna make some putts all right hole five another like 200 footer downhill a little bit dead straight shot uh, we're two down through four not happy with it but I'm starting to get the hang of putting with these that's the hardest part so I might just kind of hide this in there Ooh, caught some pull on that one. I like it. I like it. Got a little aggressive. I'll admit that. And I might pay for it. Let's see if I can fix that problem. I will say that horizon is very hard to see in the grass with that green rim. It's literally right there. And if you're looking on the camera, you can't see it. This is the first chance we might have a lead change here also. I gotta make it. Let's go. That's three down. Three down through five. All right, three down through five. This one's around the corner kind of a blind shot over the fence or around it. So, let's see if we can capitalize. hit the bird let's see if I can get the bird all right we got a couple testers about 25 and 35 horizons out change finally I had to scoot you back I went deep went deep we got a lead change we also might get our first bogey I did not want to get a bogey I could save face with that so mind bender is four down through six horizon is three down through six Let's go to hole seven. All right, mine bender's got the box. 190 feet, pretty much dead straight on. I think I'm just gonna try to hyzer up to it. 
Give me a tap in birdie, best? I don't think I should get aggressive and run any aces. I was better off getting aggressive and going for an ace. That was a terrible throw. Let me slow down a little bit. I did it again. Oh, that one's coming back. I felt like I threw those the same, but obviously I wasn't. Mindbender is about to lose a stroke here, I think. You already got the lead with this disc. Lay it up. Take the tie. I went a little greedy. And I almost made it. So I'm not disappointed. But at the same time, it might have been smarter to lay up. Regardless, we're back to tie. Horizon's got the box. Alright. Holy... We're all tied up. Horizon's got the box. I'm gonna try to convince myself that I just need to play it easy and get it up there. I, I do have trouble throwing these discs a little harder than I want to. And then sometimes I'm even just, that last one I grip blocked it a little bit. Don't know why, I really just need to put a little spin on it. So I'm gonna take some arm action out. I like that. That Horizon is a pole chaser we caught the pole on hole like five or six and then that one was close this skimmed it the sea line plastic's definitely less stable i don't i mean i might have threw that a little harder but i didn't feel like i did every time i say that that's the same reaction i get too out of the disc we got a tester with the mind bender. All right, mind bender. See what we got. That's not good. That is not good. They're all attackable. They're all 200 feet. That's disappointing. All right, hole number nine. Horizon's got the box. Mine better took a bogey. When I say mine better, I did. I took a bogey. I feel like I'm a little out of my element right now. I haven't had a single beer all day. I'm playing disc golf, which is usually odd. I feel like. Anytime I don't drink and play disc golf, I'm just doing a tournament. And that's not the case. And I'm at one of the easiest courses in my town. So, hole nine. Horizon's got the box. We're going to see if we can finish strong here. And I'm treating that like an island. So if I'm in the road or over the fence, it's all OB. So there is a chance if the horizon goes a little crazy, the mind better to take it. I like that a lot. If I threw that a little harder, I think I was chasing change. Don't get aggressive, though. Don't get aggressive. Sit. Just sit. Well, a little longer than I wanted. I got aggressive. I felt like I didn't, but... Let's see what we can do. I just gotta make a putt. Alright. Right off the wall here. 
Mind bender. That would have been terrible if I missed that. So, Horizon's gonna get the win. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, the MD Horizon won by two strokes due to my bad putting with the Mindbender. Uh, I do like both these discs. I'm glad I bought this one because now I have a little more stable version. Uh, I'm excited to start throwing with these more because I have really liked the Disc Mania line. I never threw any of them and now I'm kind of falling in love with them. I think I have four in my bag right now. So go follow us on YouTube. Hit a like on this button, Underground Sports. Go check out our Shopify app. Enjoy the rest of your day.